We are coming to you live this morning from the border of El Paso, Texas, and Juarez, Mexico. Joining us right now on the telephone is the President of the United States, President Donald Trump, joining me right now. And, Mr. President, thank you so much for calling in this morning. Well, thank you, Maria. Well, we're on the border here, and while we were standing here, Mr. President, we saw at least three groups, different groups, that crossed the border illegally and were apprehended. Why are these numbers soaring so much today? Well, people are pouring up because our economy is so good. I mean, unfortunately, it's the only bad part about what we're doing because uh, everybody wants a piece of it, and they're willing to come up and take the risk in uh, this tremendous danger. And our laws are so bad, the combination of having a great economy and having the weakest immigration laws anywhere in the world by far. And we have catch and release, and we have uh, chain migration and uh, visa lottery. We have things that nobody in their right mind would have. We're trying to get rid of them. The Democrats won't do it. Now, we need some Democrat votes. We're unanimous with the Republicans, but we need some Democrat votes, and they go out of their way to allow these people to come in. And when you get acute, when you get tough, when you do all of these things that we have to do, we, you know, they end up arresting uh, Border Patrol people. Uh, it's a disgrace to our country what's going on. The worst immigration laws ever, incompetent. Uh, they're there for a long time. When, when they used to separate children, uh, which uh, was done during the Obama administration with Bush, with us, with everybody, uh, far fewer people would come. And uh, we've been, on a humane basis, it was pretty bad. We, uh, we go out and we stop the separation. The problem is you have 10 times more people coming up with their families. It's like Disneyland now, you know, before you'd get separated. So people would say, let's not go up. Now you don't get separated. And, you know, while that sounds nice and all, what happens is you have literally you have 10 times more families coming up because they're not going to be separated from their children. So it turned out to be a disincentive right. that yes. is uh, obviously uh, a disaster. It's a disaster. You have people and, and coming we, and, up with and, many children. And we've seen it firsthand. Uh, now, we know, we know where we've everybody seen. is, and we're moving people out so fast. The problem is we have to register them. We have to bring them to court. Another country just says, sorry, you can't come into our country, and they walk them out. In our country, you have to bring them to court. You yeah. have to have Perry Mason involved. I mean, you know, it's all legal. You have lawyers standing at the border. Yeah. Our people, lawyers, wise guys, standing at the border, signing people yeah. up. Uh, every time uh, they get you cold, they try and blame Border Patrol. It's a disgrace what's going on, and it, yeah. it could be solved in, in 15 well, minutes if the Democrats would give us the vote. Well, it would be over. We're building a lot of wall. We're going to have 400 miles of wall up by the end of next year. So the wall is going to be, yeah. it's going to be great. It's going to be the top of the line, too. I got it done, the top of the line. We, we've got much more of my interview with President Trump coming up as we continue on Sunday Morning Futures. But I want to point your attention to something happening right now, live, uh, from the southern border. There is another apprehension going on right now. This is a group, as you can see, of just a few people. As usual, there are kids here because they know that if you have a child, you'll probably be able to stay. But these people just crossed literally right now while we're on the air. So we are, uh, we are covering this as it's happening. They will now go to, uh, to, to, to get processed. And, and, of course, then they will be told, since they are, quote, unquote, a family, that they can come back in, it could be eight years. Eight years, that's when they'll have their hearing. And, of course, 90% of the people do not come back eight years later. 